So football in its natural state, it's really big to us right now. Uh, the way we, we've, we've uh, kind of came in here and, you know, what is football in its natural state? It, it's, there's a lot of things that it, it, that it implies. Um, it really starts with, you know, a young man started playing football at a very young age. Why? Because it was fun. And, uh, and so we're making sure, and obviously we, we understand, you know, the fun's in the winning. We get that. We understand that. But fun's also in the journey of building something, too, and starting from a ground floor and building a young man. It's one thing to recruit. It's another thing to develop. And so we take great pride in how we develop our players, and this is part of it. So that's some of the football in its natural state. So here we go. Just basic terminology, teaching, uh, teaching you, teaching our, our, our recruits, our players. Uh, the first thing we start with, it, it's, it's kind of like John Wooden said at one time uh, when he first uh, was, was teaching, the first thing he had to teach a young man to do was tie his shoes. Why? Because he couldn't get down the floor or put, a, how to put his socks on and, and lace his shoes up because if he tripped over his, his shoestrings, then, then there's no way a guy can get down the floor and make a layup. So we started from the basics, of, of, and this is every position group uh, that we start with. What does the field look like? So when we talk in terms of coaching, what does that mean? When I talk above, you know, plus, um, plus above the hash, minus below the hash, on the numbers, the max line, what does that mean? That's just, that's just verbiage. So explaining, you know, a young man, a lot of these players that we get in here, they don't understand how far it is from the sidelines to the bottom of the numbers. And then when you take a, a young man and you, you, you go and maybe you're going to a bowl game and you go and you play um, on an NFL field to where the, 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 the numbers are already painted out there and the difference of where the NFL numbers are from where college numbers are. And that's why you see some different lines on those NFL fields. Um, and so, you know, what is that? So we just start, you know, basic how wide is a football field? We know it's 53 and a third. I think everybody in here knows that. Uh, but I bet you didn't know the, diff the, the from the top of the numbers. And this is what we consider the top of the numbers right here. So if I go tell you, true story, if I go tell you to stand at the top of the numbers, that's your alignment as a wide receiver. We literally had a young man that went and stood on top of the numbers. He literally stood right here. On top. He said, Coach, you stood. You told me to stand on top of the numbers. And he's exactly right. So we did a really poor job of explaining what we mean by the top of the numbers. The top of the numbers, and a lot of you will see our receivers in, in, in some hash splits or some, uh, on our splits, they'll be aligned at the top of that number. It's not just because that's where he wanted to align. That's because that's, the, according to that play, how we want his, his adjustment, his release, and it allows him uh, an opportunity to get inside, outside release. Some of our receivers will line up below the numbers. Hey, on this play, you're below the numbers. That means you're at the bottom of that number, okay? So if I say, hey, we're lining up minus one below the numbers, then he knows immediately that I am minus one yard below the bottom of that number. Hey, I need you plus two above the numbers. What does that mean? That means I gotta be at the top of the numbers and line up plus two toward the ball. Obviously, we know that the hash marks, the hash and the numbers are very similar in how we communicate with our players. You'll see a lot of our five men, you'll talk, we'll talk that in just a few minutes, uh, our nickel sams, you, you'll see some of that and some of the way we pressure. We'll tell those guys, hey, I need, you to, I need you to align plus one off the hash. Well, what does that mean? I need you plus two off the hash. I need you minus two off that hash. So that, just like that, that's the way we communicate with these young men. They know, much like the numbers, if I tell you to line up minus one off that hash, you know you're inside that hash one yard. Or if I need you minus four, then you're minus four yards. If I say plus off that hash, that means you're outside the numbers, or outside that hash. So plusing and minusing is a lot of our day-to-day -day talk with these young men. The top, from top of number to top of number is 35 and a third yards from top to top. Really, as we go through that, you know, we don't have a whole lot of dealings with that uh, outside that we want our young men to understand that that's, that's the width of this football field uh, from inside those top of those numbers. Now, the, the big thing, and I mentioned it a second ago, you know, from the bottom of the numbers to the sidelines is seven yards in college. In NFL, it's different. It's wider. It, it moves out. So 
you know, you go out and, again, we, we, we've played on NFL fields and you, you literally go out and you have to, so much of what we do is you can hear me talk about the numbers, you have to find where that dash mark is. If it's a turf field, they'll have a, 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 like a little representation of what a number looks like, but it's just two lines. And that's where the kid you has to understand of, of how he aligns according to where the numbers are on a college field compared to an NFL field. Um, got players that get into the league and they, 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 they not necessarily struggle with it, they got to learn that all over again. Uh, from the bot, from the out of bounds line to the top of the numbers is nine yards. It's very important to understand that because so much of what we do, if we'll tell, hey, our alignment on this play is at the top of the numbers. Your job is to, as you, as you release, you're, and this is the way we'll say it, as you release, if your alignment's on top of the numbers, we need you to release to the bottom of the numbers, and on the seventh step, you would make your break on a skinny. Uh, so what does that mean? It means my alignment would be here. As I release, I'm releasing to the bottom of the numbers, so I'm trying to gain width that way. Uh, it seems simple, um, but that's the way we talk. We talk to our players, and, and if you don't understand uh, the alignments, uh, usually alignments dictate a lot. Um, you know, when you look at defense, when we talk to our defensive players, it's all about alignment, assignment, and technique. Well, the alignment is critical. How are those receivers aligned? Are they aligned wide? Do you see a receiver, and you'll see if you come out to our practice field, everybody's asking me, what does that red line mean? There's red lines that are painted on our practice fields. That's called a max line. All right, a max line is, is any vertical ball that we want to throw, we do not want our receivers pushed outside that max line. That max line from the sidelines to the max line is right around five yards. Okay, right around five yards. We want him to hold that max line. A corner is going to try to force him outside that max line. Does anybody know why? Get him wider. It, it forces the quarterback to make a perfect throw. As opposed to if you can have a wide receiver hold his max line, he's got a DB, come here Will, he's got a DB that's leaning on him. He's got to lean back on him, so if, if, I'm a, if, if Will's this DB and I'm releasing on a vertical, he's going to try to wash me past the max line. I've got to lean and hold my ground, and I, we tell the quarterbacks, drop the ball outside the max line. Why? That allows me five yards to make my move here to catch that ball. So many guys get pinned right here on the sidelines, and they have to make a perfect throw. And... Uh, so that's what you'll see when you come to our practice field. You'll see red line on the outside. That's called a max line for us. Um, let's see. Anything else, Will, that I missed on that? Uh, same thing, goal line. Everybody knows the goal line. We call the back line or the end line is the, 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 the back uh, end zone line. Uh, so much about what we do. We got several plays, especially when we get down in that red zone. We really want to work a two-yard buffer on the back end line. Um, and so, uh, you know, we would never want to hug or crowd that at back end line. We want to hold that two yard buffer for the same reason we would want to hold a max line here. Same way with our, our DBs. Alignment, assignment, technique. What's the alignment of that receiver? Well, that receiver's aligned wide. His, he's aligned at the max line, coach. Well, if you're a, if you're a DB coach, Coach Chavis and uh, Coach Caldwell, Coach Smith and those guys see a wide receiver aligned wide, they're telling that corner right now, there's really only one route that guy can hurt you with. He's, he's, he's widened his splits for one reason, and that one reason is he's trying to get inside leverage of you. So take away your alignment needs to be inside leverage of that wide receiver. The wider he goes, the tighter we want to get. We don't want to get as wide as him. If we, if we, if they, if we split the wide receiver all the way out here and we brought a corner way out, we got a lot of, lot of grass in here to work with. You'll hear our coaches talk, you know, hey, man, you know, where, where's the grass? Where's the open field? Um, so that's, that's the first thing we taught. We taught this with freshmen. Uh, heck, when I was coaching high school ball, and I mean, we would talk this with our seventh graders. You, you, it's every year. Um, these are things that you, you think are just like the young man that stood on top of the numbers. These are things you think they know, but they don't know. And uh, so this, this alone in itself is, is big for both offense and defense and understanding these, these rules.